1998, the songwriting team of Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty received Academy Award and Golden Globe Award nominations for the music they wrote for the animated film Anastasia. And now that fan favorite film has been transformed into a magnificent stage musical featuring a signature Ahrens and Flaherty score with over 20 songs that help bring the epic adventure to life. We recently sat down with the Tony winning duo to find out the inspiration behind the songs they wrote for Anastasia and what this journey has meant to them. Anastasia begins with the Romanov Empire, the last of the czars, and it swirls through this beautiful glimpse of old Russia into the Russian Revolution. And we follow the story of a young woman named Anya who doesn't know who she is. She was lost in the war. Now she's trying to find out who she is and where she belongs. This is called In My Dreams. It gives us a little bit of backstory, little flashes of things that she does remember, but she has little, little snippets of memory that give her clues to where she might be going. So that's, that's her first song in the show. Rain against a window sheets upon a bed terrifying nurses whispering overhead call the child Anya give the child a hat I don't know a thing before that so some of the characters that Anya meets on her journey are uh, a character named Vlad and uh, he is concocting a scheme with his friend who is a dashing young man named Dmitri, and the two of them are trying to find a way to get out of communist Russia and get to, uh, to Paris. And uh, along the way they meet Anya, and the three of them together form a trio, and uh, together the goal is to, to get to Paris. This set is set on a train, it's this magnificent scenic event in, toward the end of Act One as they head for Paris, and you'll hear train music, it's, it's really fun, yeah, imagine a train. But no more doubt, no time to spare. We're nearly out, so let's prepare. We're on our way to who knows where. And we'll go, and we'll go, and we'll go, and we'll go, and we'll go. from there. One of the things that was great about getting a chance to revisit Anastasia is characters who didn't really sing that much in the original now get to express themselves more fully in the stage version. The character of Dimitri, uh, he's a character that didn't sing that much uh, originally and he's a character that we were curious about and we wanted to know more about him, more about his background. So we were able to write a song for Dimitri called My Petersburg, which sums a lot of that up. I grew up on the sly, in the gutters, in the streets of Petersburg. Just a kid on the fly, getting good at getting by in Petersburg. I bartered for a blanket, stolen for my bread, learned to take my chances and lose my head. A Russian rat is clever, clever, he ends up dead. Down to there are some who survive, some who don't, some give up, some give in. Me, I won't. Black and blue, welcome to my Petersburg. I remember when we were working on Journey to the Past, which is sort of the, you know, famous, very famous song from the score. But when we were first writing it together. He hit three notes, bung, 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 four notes. <laughs> and I said, I need more notes. I don't know what I can set on those words. But I said, let me think about it. And that became home, love, family. And that is the core of the show. It's about, you know, finding your home, falling in love, and discovering who your family is. Heart, don't fail me now. Courage, don't desert me. Don't turn back now that we're here. People always say life is full of choices. No one ever mentions fear or how. 